secrets behind Kate Middleton's royal feud with Camilla, revealed. In general, the American opinion of Kate Middleton has always been very positive. She is portrayed as kind, caring, and a devoted wife and mother, not to mention a beautiful style icon. But there's one person in the royal family who might not share those sentiments, Camilla Parker Bowles. Prince Charles' wife. Kate's relationship with the royal family. Since Kate has been in a relationship with Prince William for nearly two decades, we've had a chance to observe her with many members of the royal family. She appears to get along well with most of them, and even though Princess Beatrice doesn't appear to get along with her, that seems to be because of Beatrice's issues, not Kate's. In general, Kate seems to be a welcome addition to the family. Sour from the start. The bad blood between Camilla and Kate seems to have started long ago, when Kate and William were first dating. According to a biographer, Camilla claimed that Kate was too common to marry the prince. Her meddling may not have stopped there. Unflattering gossip. Some reports claimed Camilla once shared unflattering information about Kate and her family with the press, causing them great distress. Nothing can be proven, of course. But considering Princess Diana was at odds with Camilla for years, it's not entirely out of the question. Camilla may have tried to stop the royal wedding. One biographer revealed in a book that Camilla may have tried to manipulate the relationship so William and Kate wouldn't get married. In fact, it was believed that Camilla was somewhat behind the couple's big breakup at a time when people thought William was getting ready to propose to Kate. Kate got serious at Harry and Meghan's wedding. There were many memorable moments from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding, but not all of them were happy. Many people were distracted by a very tense moment between Camilla and Kate where the younger Duchess appeared to scold her mother-in-law during Bishop Michal Curry's impassioned speech. Camilla appeared to be muttering and laughing to herself and Kate clearly did not approve of her behavior. William made it clear that his children only have two grandmothers. In Diana, our mother, her life and legacy, William made it clear that Camilla was not a grandmother to his two children. I, just try and remind them that there are two grandmothers, there were two grandmothers, in their lives, he said. William did not mention Camilla when speaking about the children's grandmothers, even though she was their grandfather's wife and had known them since birth, just like Kate's mother. Camilla's possible motives. Now that Kate and William have been married for nearly a decade, one would think Camilla would have come to accept Kate by now. But that doesn't seem to be the case, and this might be the reason. The Queen agrees with the late Princess Diana, who always wanted William to be the one to ascend the throne instead of Charles. But rather than blame the Queen for this assertion, or even William, Camilla has chosen to place the blame on Kate. She is apparently livid that Charles might not take over. Why choose William over Charles? The natural order of the monarchy would dictate that Charles is next in line to inherit the throne. But ultimately, the decision is up to the Queen. And because Charles and Camilla are 69 and 70, respectively, she'd rather hand things over to the much younger Kate and William. There's also the matter of public opinion of Camilla which is still somewhat negative as many people are still fond of Princess Diana. An anxious Kate. According to insiders, Camilla called Kate to vent her frustration over the Queen's looming decision. And though Kate professed her innocence, claiming she did nothing to persuade the Queen, Camilla isn't buying it. This has apparently made Kate, who has three children to raise, nervous and anxious both at the idea of one day being the Queen and for being used as a scapegoat by Camilla pressuring Charles. The feud between Camilla and Kate could heat up even more if both women choose to help their husbands fight for the throne. Camilla has reportedly told Prince Charles to man up and fight for what she believes is his birthright. She thinks taking over the throne is his destiny. Meanwhile, though Kate is nervous about becoming queen while raising three young children, she has apparently said she will find a way to balance the responsibilities with family life. Camilla was unfit for marriage to Prince Charles. During the 1970s, when Camilla and Prince Charles initially started their romance, anyone who was not virginal was not considered worthy of marrying into the royal family. Camilla had previously been in an on and off, seven-year romance with Indra Parker Bowles, so the courtiers deemed her unfit. Perhaps if this romance had occurred in the present day, Princess Diana never would have been royalty at all. She was the mistress of the prince. It's no secret that after Prince Charles married Princess Diana, 
The fling between Camilla and him continued. Camilla's husband turned a blind eye when Camilla and Charles rekindled their romance in the mid-1970s. Diana was well aware of the affair while it was happening. She also later admitted to affairs of her own. Her most famous quote about the affair was during an interview in 1995. There were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. The affair broke Diana. While Andrea Parker Bowles may have looked away, Diana was not numb to the affair. Diana was so widely respected that knowing the affair saddened her made the public despise Camilla. So I said, I want my husband, I do know what's going on. Don't treat me like an idiot, Diana once told biographer Andrew Morton. Had Diana handled the affair with the same carelessness as Camilla's husband, the public might not be so against the former mistress. Some think Camilla and Charles were behind Diana's death. Over the years, Many conspiracy theories have come about regarding Diana's tragic death by car accident. One of them is that Charles wanted her dead, and Diana was convinced that was the case. Diana gave a letter to her butler ten months before her accident, saying she thought Charles was planning an accident to make the path clear for Charles to marry. Diana had her own thoughts about who he'd end up with, but some believe Camilla was the reason behind the crash. Britain does not want her to be queen. The Daily Express took a poll in summer 2017 to determine how many of those in Britain actually wouldn't mind seeing Camilla as the Queen of England. The poll was taken shortly after the release of Diana's documentary 20 years after her death. According to the poll, only 19% of the British people saw Camilla as fit to be queen when Charles eventually dies. The same poll also said that 27% of people thought less of Charles following the release of the documentary. The world has too much respect for Diana. Princess Diana was a staple of the royal family. Her fashion, her poise, her approach, the world adored her right up until her untimely death. She brought attention to issues like mental health that had gone undiscussed in modern times. No matter what amount of effort Camilla puts in, she will never be like Princess Diana. The world will never see Camilla as on par with Charles' first wife, and the sons will never see Camilla the way they saw their mother.